hey guys <laughs> um, I'm just doing a um, do-it-yourself video and I'm going to make uh, perfume trays for um, eventually when I get my own place again uh, for my dresser or my bathroom this is my little elephant stand or table all right so first thing I bought I got all these items at the Dollar Tree so it was less than ten dollars for all these items they are dollar twenty-five each so I got two metal plates which I was kind of impressed because I always see like just the plastic silvery ones I got some fix-all uh, cement adhesive um, I suggest this instead of super glue. This does say that you can use it on glass, and um, super glue doesn't mention glass at all in their packaging. And then I just bought two glass candle holders. So I thought those would be really pretty. But like that, they're really elegant. They'll be really elegant looking, and there's no real color to it. It's not gold or anything like that. Um, so these match pretty much anything and again these are all a dollar twenty five each all right so first I'm gonna start I did clean all the items first I just want to make sure there's no film or anything on it so that the glue doesn't stick all right so you need to apply um, the adhesive fix all cement to both surfaces so I'm gonna and this has a little circle in the center I don't know if you can see it where there's no pattern so it's kind of set out for you you don't have to like figure out where the center of that is and this is pretty flat around the rim sorry about my chip nails um, so I'll apply adhesive there and around the outer rim of that circle and then you have to let dry for 10 minutes and then push the parts together. Full strength is achieved in 12 hours. So I'm going to apply the um, cement uh, fix all to the surface of this and the surface of the candle holder and let it set for 10 minutes and then stick it on. And it has a little poke in the lid, so you just turn the lid upside down, because it is sealed. If it's not sealed, I would return it and exchange it for a new one. So you just pop down, and now it's open. This is very runny, but I'm not too concerned about it running. It is clear. Um, but you're not really going to see much of the uh, candlestick anyways, so it's not that big of a deal. And I am just going to, I know I'm not supposed to for 10 minutes attach them, but because there is a circle outlined, but I'm not sure, I can't really draw on the metal with anything. So I'm just going to put this upside down quickly, just so it leaves a kind of a mark with the fixed all cement. So like so, and then I'll just lift it off. And then if you can see that now I have an outline and I'm just going to put a little more of the product. And I'm just going to attach a little more because we did lose some product when I made a outline to follow on the... Uh... Alright, so I'm going to leave those items sit for 10 minutes and I'm just going to move them down because now I'm going to do the same thing with the other two pieces. And I'm 
just going to do the same thing again. And I'm just going to pop it upside down, pick it up. Oh. Just rub that off on the wood. Oh, dry clear. My mom will never know. And I'm just going to outline that, make it a little thicker. I am putting glass, look, most of my perfumes are glass, so I do want these to be hold out, like, not come loose or wobble or anything like that. Alright, so that is done, so we'll let that sit for 10 minutes. And I'm just going to pause the video. Um, I don't have any fancy photo editing, so I... I don't have the option just to speed up certain parts of videos. I have to uh, speed up the whole video or nothing. So I'm just going to pause this and I'll just edit the two uh, clips together. So I'll see you in 10 minutes. Alright, so I'm back. I've already put um, one together and you need to let this dry for 12 hours, they said on the packaging, for the best results. Um, and I'm just going to leave them upside down like this for 12 hours and once they're all done I'll do a just a little um, you'll see them in future videos pretty much so I'm just going to squish that down and hold it in place sorry about the mark on my hand if you can see it I don't know what happened. It got burned, but I can't remember like what I was doing. I know it was, oh, I think it was like, I was baking maybe? I can't remember. I think I touched the top of the stove. Anyways, so that is done. It's pretty, you can't really get any more center. Like I said, they have the circle already in the middle of those trays. Um. So yeah, we'll let that sit for 12 hours, just like that. I'm just going to pop this little bubble. It keeps bubbling. I'm just going to squish the glue around it. Alright, so there you go. Um, Maybe I'll hold out on putting this video up. Yeah, I'm going to wait and put this video up tomorrow morning so you guys can see the full effect of this. Um, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed my video. I will add the rest of it on. Well, I guess I don't even need to say goodbye to you because I'm going to add more on to it. Bye. Hey guys, so I made um, these stands. A couple days ago you had to let them sit for 12 hours Ugh, sorry but I thought I'd make um, add this little clip into my video because um, they're all done and show you what I'm gonna be using them for um, so here's one I want to use one get out of my poncho I'm gonna use one um, in the kitchen for bake goods I'm gonna make a couple more because I want two in the bathroom one in the kitchen, I really like to bake, and then probably two in my bedroom, or one in my bedroom. Anyways, so here's one, and these, the plate was $1.25, candlestick was $1.25, and the fix-all um, was $1.25 each as well, sorry. So that's what it looks like from the top. Um, if you want me to do a video on how I made my little mini cupcakes, let me know in the comments below. They are raspberry, french vanilla, and coconut. And so that's one tray. I'm a little elephant table. And then... This is what... Sorry, Poncho's trying to get the cupcakes, but he can't have the sugar. So that's what they look like without anything on them. Sorry if their glare is getting you. But I originally made them for um, my perfume. But I do bake a lot. So I thought I'll put one in the kitchen for now right now. Um, so I wanted to use them to display my perfume. 
And so right now I just have just got two of my full size bottles just so you could see size wise of the stands. Um yeah, so I think all my perfume would fit on there, but I might make another one just so it's not so crowded. But I thought they were super cute and I wanted to share with you guys on how to make these and how inexpensive they were and how nice you can make them. Like this is just metal. This is glass, and I got this all at the Dollar Tree. And it was less than $10. And I'll just leave a price list in the description block, block box below on the cost of each item. I can't leave an online link because I don't believe there's an online store for the Dollar Tree. But I can leave the prices um, for each item for you in the description box. Anyways, I hope you all have a good day, and maybe have a cupcake or two. Brighten your day up. I hope everyone is living a happy and wonderful life, enjoying your spring, and yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!